basic computer systems main hardware components plus main software components like OS operating system user software programs or packages plus one input device plus one output device like keyboard or mouse that are the input device and the monitor or printer that are the output devices so the main three things are main hardware components main software components and input or output device computing platform environment the computing platform or environment consists of an existing suitable combinations the main hardware components that means cpu plus the main software components like os operating system examples are intel amd x86 cpu plus windows os 32 bit next intel x86 64 AMD 64 CPU plus Windows OS 64 bit. Next Intel CPU plus Linux. Next Intel CPU plus Mac OS X. Then ARM CPU plus Linux, ARM CPU plus Android and ARM CPU plus iOS. The basic knowledge of a suitable platform is necessary for a programmer because all that a CPU understands are patterns of 1 and 0. That means machine language or object code. Any program written in any language called source code must be compiled into machine language of a particular CPU type, CISC or RISC, for the CPU to understand and execute accordingly. Note that Different CPU understand different machine languages, that means bit patterns. Different OSs provide different ready-to-be-used machine code called API routines or library that are used by the programmer in their own program. API routines don't match among OSs. Next topic, primary memory RAM. Primary memory is divided into a number of memory cells, bits or bytes. A bit, binary digit, is the smallest storage unit within a computer. It is a thin electrical circuit that can be in one of two states. A voltage high represented by the symbol 1 and a voltage low represented by the symbol 0. Any system of symbols can be represented by bit or byte patterns. A byte is a chunk of 8 bits. So that means bits are always greater than bytes. So bits are the larger one. OSs keep track of the RAM on byte count. Each RAM byte must have a unique unsigned integer integer address. That means no two RAM bytes can have the same address. Byte addresses are automatically assigned by the OS. There is a 16-byte RAM logical state. Look at this. There are byte 1 to byte 16, and all of them has their unique own unique address and own unique value. Look at there, byte 1. This address is 0000, and value is 00101101. Next one, byte 2. Its address is 0001. Hello is 00101101. Look at that. All the 16 bytes has the same value. I mistakenly said that before that that has their own value but not own value. All 16 bytes has their same value but own addresses. That's are unique, not the same. So look at there by 3. Address is 0010 and the value is 00101101. Byte 4. Address is 0011 and the value is 00101101. Byte 5. The address is 0100 and its value is 00101101. All of the bytes are the same value, that's why I 
don't say it again only i call the address byte 6 is 0101 byte 7 address is 0110 the address of byte 8 is 0111 the address of byte 9 is 100 byte 10 the address is 1001 byte 11 1010 byte 12 1011 byte 13 1100 byte 14 1101 byte 15 1110 and the last one byte 16 the address is 1111 so there is the example of 16 byte ram logical state again i say all the bytes have their own unique address but all the bytes have their same value not different look at this a 4-bit cpu or os can only keep track of 2 to the power 4 that means 16 byte of ram a 16-bit cpu or os can only keep track of 2 to the power 16 that means 65536 byte or 64 kilobyte generally we say this 64 kilobyte of ram a 32 bit cpu or os can only keep track of 2 to the power 32 that means 4 294 967 296 huge number uh, actually 4 billion or giga addresses of ram bytes and generally we say this 4 gb of ram also storages such as hard disk sdds are divided into 512 byte sectors with unique addresses since only 4 billion addresses are available a 32 bit cpu or os can only address 4 gigabyte multiply 512 that means 2 terabyte partition of hard disk huge number okay this 4 gb ram limits are avoided by 64 bit cpus and 64 bit oss a 64 bit cpu or os can be kept track of 2 to the power 64 that means 18 446 744 073 709 551 616 byte actually 18 ev or 18 giga gigabyte of ram and 9 zb 9 giga terabyte partition of hard disk huge number in order to avail the 64 bit computing advantages one must have both 64 bit cpu and 64 bit os 32 bit cpus cannot run 64 bit oss and 32 bit oss cannot run 64 bit softwares even if the cpu is 64 bit so that's why you always need the cpu and the os have the same bytes if like simple if you have a 32 bit cpu then you must need a 32 bit os and again if you have a 64 bit cpu then you must need a 64 bit os because already i said 32 bit cpus cannot run 64 bit oss and 32 bit oss cannot run 64 bit softwares even if the cpu is 64 bit and the basic things how you calculate the track just uh, put at the number 2 to the power m when n is 16 bit then 2 to the, 2 to the power 16 when a 32 bit cpu or os just put 2 to the power 32 and you get the result as well as so that's the basic things look at this the unit byte has no symbol power of 2 to the, 2 to the power 0 and the number of bytes is 1 kilobyte the symbol is kb power is 2 to the power 10 that means 1024 bytes then megabyte symbol is mb 2 to the power 20 the power of 2 the number of bytes is 10,48,576 then gigabyte the symbol is gb and the power of 2 is 2 to the power 30 1073741824 and then the terabyte tb the power of 2 is 2 to the power 40. Huge number, I just said is 1099511627776.
and there is a 32 bit system speaker you can see here all has the same value no they all has not the same value the top six has the same value and the last 26 is the same value but all has their own unique addresses okay just a 0 to 31 and this is the 32 bit system cpu and there is the input or output each bit of information programming instructions data for processing by the cpu is fetched from the ram or is stored back to the ram after or during processing not only that every device has communicates to the CPU via its reserved area inside RAM allocated by the OS. Since RAM is volatile, that means it loses all the instructions or data once the power is off. Secondary persistent storage devices such as hard disk, USB flash drives, etc. are used to store the programming instructions or data permanently. However, for any processing to be done by the CPU, all the programming instructions or data must be loaded into the RAM bytes. Last things, see here the computer software. Hardware abstraction layer, HAL. There is the system where you can find the hardware and the software and the application software around it and you also need the users. So the software is mainly two types system software and application software so that's all for today i hope you like this one and thank you so much for watching this